What's good my friends? Welcome back to another video and in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to make a custom info box for your Steam profile. So let's get started. Before we get too in depth, I did want to mention that you need to be at least level 10 on Steam for this to work. If you're not level 10, I do own a website that I'll also link down below in the description that you can use to level up. It should be able to get you to level 10 for about under $2 and it should take you no more than 5 minutes. Now all we have to do is simply go down into the description and click on the link titled guide. It will take you to this guide and as you can see it has dozens of different info boxes and their styles and you can use any of these on your profile. From here simply scroll down until you find a certain style that you'd like. For example I like this one here. After you've chosen your desired style click on the pastebin link that's right under it. It will take you to this page. Then let's click on the button that says raw. Then we need to copy all of the text in the new page that pops up. A quick shortcut for this is to simply click Ctrl plus A to highlight everything, followed by Ctrl plus C to copy it. If you want to do the manual method, you can also simply click and drag as normal, and then right click on the screen and click copy. Now let's go back to our profile. Let's click on edit profile. Let's click on featured showcase. Let's navigate to an open showcase slot and let's choose info box. Then let's right click in the open area and let's click paste. To be able to see the entire box, click on this weird looking thing in the bottom right corner and let's click and drag downwards to expand it. As you can see, we have the full template pasted and you can view the entire thing. Also, one quick tip is to make sure you give this a title. For whatever reason on Steam, if you don't give this a title, it's not gonna load on your profile. So let's give it a quick temporary title and then let's scroll all the way down. Let's click save and then let's go back to our profile to see it. As you can see, we have the info box perfectly on our profile. However, we need to actually customize the template to our liking. So let's go back to our profile. Let's click on edit profile. Let's click on featured showcase and let's navigate to the original info box. Once again, let's click and drag this bottom right corner downwards to enlarge in it and let's begin replacing the text. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this by replacing the your title here with my name Kalazar. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the original text and I'm going to replace it with my name. I'm also going to try to add spaces and make sure that I keep everything centered. After that's done, let's scroll down all the way. Let's click save and let's go back to our profile. As you can see, the text has been replaced with Kalazar. This looks okay, but it seems that we still have a problem. Although I put even spacing and I took my time to center it in the info box editing, it seems like Steam automatically pushed it to the left. And this is not a coincidence. This is because this is like a weird rule in Steam. When you're in an if info box, if you put more than one space in a row, Steam is going to automatically shorten it to one space. So let's say you put 10 spaces, it doesn't matter. When Steam goes to display it on your profile, it's going to default that to just one space. Fortunately, there is a way around this. We can use something called an invisible character. This is just like a normal character like A, B, C, or D, except it's invisible and it still has that width. So let's go down into the description and let's click on the character link. It's going to go ahead and take you to this page. From here, simply click copy to copy the character. Now let's go back to our info box editing screen. This time, anytime you would like to add extra spaces, simply use the invisible character. Do this by typing control V to paste in that character wherever you need it. I'm going to demonstrate this by adding those spaces to my name. Now I'm going to go ahead and go all the way down and click save and then I'm gonna go back to my profile. As you can see this time, the text is actually centered exactly how we originally intended. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward the rest of the editing on my info box, but if you need any help with the formatting, click on this little formatting help button. I'm also gonna be making another video in the future showing a little bit more detail about how text formatting on Steam works and some tips around it. Once it's released, I'll go ahead and put the video card up right now. I also wanted to give you guys a quick tip Let's say that you didn't want to have any title. Um, let's say you want to keep it blank. Although Steam doesn't accept blank titles, we can trick Steam by just putting another invisible character in the title. So let's go ahead and delete the entire title and let's paste in one more of our invisible characters. Now, let's go all the way down. Let's click on save and let's go back to our profile. As you can see, everything has been perfectly updated and hopefully you guys have an info box that you really like. So that's going to go ahead and conclude the tutorial. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, 
please feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It only takes a few seconds and it really does help me out. As I said previously, I'm also going to be releasing a text formatting tutorial on Steam in the coming days, so keep a lookout for that. And I guess that's all I had for today, so with all that being said, I'll see you on the next one.